In this Blender tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can show different tools to move objects around. This is just a basic move tutorial. So in the basic scene, I can click this object and I'm in object mode. And so I want to move it around. And if I press G, it moves, but it just moves in all directions. If I press G, then I press a direction like Z. Now it'll only move in the Z direction. Or if I press X, it'll only move in the X direction. Or if I press Y, it'll only move in the Y direction. If I press G Shift X, now it'll only move in this plane here. Or if I press G Shift Z, it's only going to move in the X Y plane. So that's kind of convenient, but it can often be cumbersome to remember those keyboard shortcuts. So in Blender, we can go up to this menu in the top right that looks like a bow and arrow, and then I can turn on the move by default. So this is the plane move tool right here. So if I click this, notice that it highlights the axes that I'm moving in. So this is the same as pressing G, then Shift Z. So this is the same thing. Or if I just click this blue square, I can do it that way. This is the same as pressing G, then Z, moving in the Z axis. So I can just press G, Z, and I move the same way. And I can also free move. So grabbing this center pin right here, this free moves, and that's the same as pressing G. So when you're moving things around, sometimes it's nice to have this on the screen as you're working, so you can grab those things without having to move your hand on the keyboard, or if you're not familiar with those move keyboard shortcuts in Blender. So turning on this gizmo is pretty nice. There's also rotate gizmos as well, so I can turn on the rotate. And this is the same thing, so I can rotate in these cardinal directions. But sometimes having all these gizmos on here can be confusing. So generally, I'll just keep the move one on, but you can also turn on scale. So if I turn off the move, now I can see that I can scale this in different directions. It's nice to have these gizmos pop up. And so I like to keep it on move and then turn off scale because you're mainly moving things around. And then you'll press the scale key or the rotate key when you need to do that. So hopefully this helps you move things around easily in Blender. Happy 3D modeling.